Happy. No, just, just hi. Never, I was gonna say happy and try to think of a thing to tell you happy it was, and then I realized that nothing I could think of is really all that fucking happy, is it? Um. So, welcome. Yeah, welcome. Welcome to the whatever the fuck on the whoever the fuck. And hi, how are y'all? And this is MSNBC. And here we have a fine example of exactly what pisses me off about MSNBC. Other than the fact that Joe Scarborough is, say it with me now, an obtuse douchebag. Okay. Um, so, really, it's, it's a couple of things. Um, your best reporter gets nothing on here. Like, um, like the hardest working one. Okay. At least self-indulgent. Okay. I don't want to say best reporter because she's damn good reporter. Those are damn good reporters. Okay. Um, you need your own show. Okay. And you need to threaten to quit in order to get it. Because, um, uh, all right, just, uh, 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 obtuse douchebag. Um, so another thing I don't like about MSNBC's YouTube channel in particular, considering that it's the main source I have to get, um, other than like, you know, you know, crappy antenna stuff. You know, my one ABC channel, which conveniently, uh, I stopped getting these channels, you know, a few months before the election. That's just funny. Um, so, one of the most important voices in American politics. Nope. Not going to see much of that up here. Um, uh, Chris Hayes, he's, you know, relatively new, does good work, but... Rachel Maddow has also become one of the most important voices in American politics. And she is up here so she can pander to the Bernie people. Okay. And to her supporters. And that's fine. I, I don't I don't distrust her too much. Okay. And she seems nice. You know. She could she could lead us in the right direction until her skeletons come out of the closet. But Here's the thing. See, this is a nice, complete Rachel Maddow piece. Rachel Maddow, hi Rachel. You do wonderful reporting, okay? Um, but the deal is, you know, like honesty. I know a lot of people have problem with that. A lot of people like like him, you know, have problem with truth and stuff like that. And you know, like him, they have, they have problem with the truth, and you know, they just want to spread hatred instead of actually, you know, sticking to facts. Um, doesn't want these kids going to a Jew school, that kind of thing. But, you see, here we have an interview that was after a piece like this. Okay? And the piece like this that came before this interview would have done these 287,000 people a lot of good because they informed them about the most quintessential threat and, you know, security risk that Donald Trump actually poses, which is his connections to international fascism, not just American fascism, okay? And you can find this, I, I put it up, uh, actually, uh, Joey put it up for me, story time, in which... She lays out a case of how basically if Barack Obama had the ties to Russia and all these shady different things going on with him, um, there would have been like a lynch mob if he got elected. And, and, and you know, I, I know that sounds crass, but think about it. It's true. If... Any Democrat, any Democrat, did the same thing, okay? 
even if Chris Matthews himself ran for president and was elected, and then it came out that he had ties to Vladimir Putin, and his staff had ties to Vladimir Putin, and his sta staff had direct links to freaking, you know, corrupt governments and, and corrupt institutions in Russia, and the man wouldn't, ret and, and the Democrat, you know, say if it was her, if she wouldn't disclose her tax returns, and she had all these ties to Russia, they'd be screaming, Communist! Traitor! They'd be sounding kind of like I do in the comments. Hmm. The world is upside down. Well, so I definitely recommend that you check check out the story time that details out exactly how involved with Vladimir Putin this man is. And um, thank you once again, Rachel Natto, for reporting it. And, um, <sighs> I just don't know what else to say. If y'all would have just been doing your jobs informing the American people about the clear and present danger. We would not be in the position where we have to rely on the election.